My name is Angelina Lavalente. I am a women's fitness coach and NPC bikini competitor. I've been a Titan patient for about a year now and the results that I've seen over the past year have been unparalleled. Um, it was the solution that I didn't know that I needed to my training and my health and wellness regimen. So earlier this year I got my blood work done for the first time with Titan and while everything came back squeaky clean I was pretty surprised to find out that I had very low testosterone and while I was surprised it really made sense. I definitely push myself as hard as I can in the gym, I eat clean, and I felt like I still wasn't seeing the results that I knew I could achieve. So once I started on the HRT, I mean my energy levels, my endurance in the gym, my ability to build lean muscle, everything changed. So that has been huge and has been fundamental in my regimen so far. Um, also, I am a huge fan of the Titan Trifecta. So the ECA stack, the Hercules Potion, and the Titan Complete. And really with all three, that covers everything I would ever need in a supplement. Um, helps with metabolism, energy, uh, mental clarity, just overall health and well-being. And right now, I am actually four days out from my first competition of the year, and I've never had the energy that I do now. So I really have Titan to thank for being in the best shape mentally and physically that I've ever been. So it is super simple to become a Titan patient. All you have to do is fill out the new patient paperwork, which we have right on our website. Uh, you can call in and set up a consultation with our medical providers, either in office, in Channelside, Tampa, or we service nationwide. So right from the comfort of your own home, you can do a Skype or a FaceTime and see what therapies are right for you. I think what separates Titan from a lot of other providers is their constant attention to detail and patient satisfaction. You get an email every week going over their therapy of the week and things going on at Titan, events that we have coming up. You get constant text reminders and the office will call you to remind you when you need to place a refill, see how your regimen is going and make sure everything's going okay. So we hope you join the Titan family. You can call or text the line, send in your new patient paperwork online and we hope to see you soon. Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. Just want to let you guys know about a really cool peptide therapy that we offer for weight loss. So this therapy is called AOD9604. It is fragmented from the C-terminus fragment of human growth hormone. So it is uh, basically they take the molecule chain of growth hormone, found the portion specific to the lipophilic and lipogenic portion of that molecule chain that helps the way the body destroys fat and utilizes fat from foods for energy um, and prevents it from becoming a stored fat in the body. With this therapy, you can take it as a subcutaneous injection in the belly fat tissue or you can actually do it as a rapid dissolve tablet under the tongue. So for those of you who don't like needles, we also have you covered for that as well. So give us a call, 727-389-3220. We look forward to hearing from you. Hey guys, I'm John. I wanna have a serious conversation with you guys today. I wanna to talk about hormone replacement therapy, both males and females. A lot of different things that you guys can benefit from, from hormone replacement therapy. Before we get into that topic, let me break down what hormone replacement therapy is. It's the balancing and optimization of the hormones that are in your body today. That's right, both males and females have all the exact same hormones, just at different levels in their body. And this really makes us tick tock all the way through, from our sleep patterns, to our metabolism, glucose levels in our body can be affected, obviously our libido, 
brain function. Let's think about those receptors there too as well. Lean muscle mass and tissue. So this is gonna help in a variety of different ways. And when we talk about hormones, it's something that we should really consider about getting a blood test for first. This is really gonna tell you guys what's going on inside of your body, the true diagnostics for yourself. Because we can look on the outside of our body and we can tell what's wrong and what's not wrong. But we can't really look inside of us, right? So that's where the blood test really comes into play. It really shows us what's going on and then we can make an educated decision about what we really wanna do. And being paired with the right medical provider can make a world of difference on how you're gonna feel and your quality of life. And that's a really big thing that you should be getting out of hormone replacement therapy. It should be improving your quality of life all the way around, from your personal life, to your business life, to your business in the bedroom too as well. I mean, these things from mental health, physical health, and sexual health, covering all those different aspects, and hormones can truly make the difference in all different levels. When we talk about depression, I'm gonna give you a guy's example from you know my point of view. Most guys, you know, when they start hitting 30, 40 years old, start slowing down a little bit. Energy's really not there, they're more tired and lethargic than ever. They're putting on more body weight than they ever have. And they haven't changed their eating patterns, and they still are physically active. And with all this, things are changing. Their body's changing. Like I said, they don't have the energy. And at that point, libido function can be down too as well. And then they got foggy thinking. So in all aspects of your life, I mean, everything's going downhill, right? At that point, this could also cause depression. Even if everything is perfect in your life and you're still feeling down or unmotivated, this could be because of hormones. You could have a deficient or decline in some of the major hormones like testosterone per se, and this can make that effect even worse. Now usually people, when they don't feel good, they go into a general practitioner. And they tell a doctor, listen, I don't have energy. I don't feel as good as I used to. I'm feeling kind of down. And there's nothing for me to be down about. Everything's going great. I just feel depressed. Libido's not working. You know, so my wife is having some issues, her girlfriend, and they're, they're asking me what's going on. And I just don't know what to tell them. I'm kind of embarrassed about this, right? There's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's a medical condition, and that's how you should treat it. And with a medical condition, you want to make sure you give it your best and you get to the root of the problem and make sure everything's all right. That is where hormone replacement therapy can really take you because if everything's covered like that, it's going to improve everything. Your confidence in yourself, your physical appearance. Like I said, the bedroom activity should wake up there and be a lot better. Even if they're not that bad now, I guarantee they'll improve a lot more when you're on it, especially if you're in a decline in some of these hormones are deficient. And like I said, the first step is to get the blood test. And the blood test is gonna really, really, truly tell you what's going on and what you need to fix. So guys, don't believe all the myths about hormone replacement therapy. You might hear the term steroids or any of these other things like testosterone as far as that goes. There's nothing negative about testosterone at all, especially bioidentical hormones. If they're identical to the hormones that are in your body already, you should have no issues. And having these at safe levels and being monitored by a true medical professional that knows what they're doing with your hormones. Because even let's talk about testosterone. If your testosterone is low and you supplement testosterone, especially as a male, this can aromatize into estrogen. And you wanna make sure you have that covered too as well. So when I talk about, let's say testosterone, I do talk about hormone replacement therapy because it's a replacement of all the different hormones and balancing all these different hormones. Supplementing one hormone is not gonna fix the rest of them and it can cause an imbalance with the other hormones if it's not balanced correctly. Think of your body as an ecosystem. The system needs to be precise and everything needs to work in hand or harmonic balance for you to feel your best and to feel optimal and perform optimal. So guys, don't get down about anything that's going on in your life right now. Whether you feel that you're overweight, whether you feel you need energy, whether you feel you need a better libido, at that point, do yourself a favor, get checked if you're having any of the symptoms that I listed because you can ultimately do something about it and you can ultimately feel better every day of your life. Believe me, I've been doing it for 10 years myself and I feel like a million bucks almost every day that I wake up and I'm truly performing at my optimal levels every day, I believe. So guys, do yourself a favor, call or text 727-389-3220 
and tell the staff at the Titan Medical Center that John sent you and that you want to get scheduled for a blood test to see what's going on inside your body. All right. I appreciate all you guys tuning in. I hope this conversation has helped. I'll see you guys later. What's up, guys? John here with my beautiful wife, Sharice, and we are here at Sparkman's Wharf. About to go to Splitville for some great Team Titan bonding. Team Titan! Team bonding. Oh, yeah. All the girls and a guy or two. Yeah, the internal staff <laughs> is going to be here. This is for the internal team. We will have a team bonding for all the athletes and ambassadors and such, but we got to remember that core internal team that makes Titan Medical Center tick tock around the clock you like that right yeah it's important guys you know it's you got to make sure that you're there you work together as a team that's, that's right what it is you know a, a team has got to be fluid they got to be working all on the same page and they got to work together you know you can have some stars here or there in the team but without the team working together it's never going to come together True. right Truth. yeah so we're going to go in there and have a blast you guys are going to get to see what we're going to be doing we're going to bowl tonight we're splitting up the teams mixing them up and we're just gonna have a good time and how we do Teen Titan, Titan Medical Center style. Let's go! internal team bonding that we have had that we not only need but we're all gonna want no matter what but seriously cheers to the best team ever have it another great team titan team building experience and it's been a blast tonight yeah we've had a blast 
And honestly, I am so happy we did this because nobody gets, we're, at, we're so busy in the office. Yeah. Nobody actually knows each other unless they hang out outside of work. So, you know, we made it there. Everybody must come. It was mandatory. Right. And, you know, we had a good time. We, everybody enjoyed themselves. Yeah. And they realized that we're all not that bad, right? That's right. It's high pressure in the office. This is to have fun, relax, and get to know each other outside the office and really bond as a team. So it'll make a better experience inside the office, and hopefully we'll be able to work together more fluently, efficiently, and effectively together as Team Titan all the way through. So I'm proud of the girls tonight. Yes. They all did a great job, and they're super competitive, so it's great to see, right? And uh, we all learned something about each other tonight. So we're happy about it, and we can't wait for the next Team Titan yes. team bonding experience. Where are we going next? Oh, yeah, I don't know. We got to think so about many this places. One. Push Carter. That's right. You'll see, just wait. Summer is just around the corner and it's time to get beach body ready. The biggest key to getting in shape for the summer is starting before it hits. Titan Medical Center is here to help you reach your health goals and maintain optimal performance. Our wide variety of custom therapies and personalized treatment plans are specifically designed for each individual patient. At Titan Medical Center, our goal is to provide our patients with unparalleled service. We want you to feel better, look better, and perform better. It's time to get summer body ready. Call us today at 727-389-3220. Or you can also visit our website at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Coming back from World Day weekend. What a beautiful weekend it was. But we're always back to give you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully entertain, excite, and ignite your relationship and hopefully take it to a whole new level. And don't worry, guys or girls out there. If you're not in a relationship, you guys can use this knowledge and information for your future endeavors in your relationship and hopefully apply these things and hopefully it'll make it a more successful relationship if your relationships in the past have not been so su successful, I guess, right? So let's get into it right now. So the topic we're going to talk about this week is how do you talk to your partner mm -hmm. about things that they think might be cute or might like and you really just don't like and uh, you really need to talk to them about it. Yeah, how do you approach it? You know, wouldn't it be a little awkward? sometimes i guess so i mean usually in the beginning of the relationship when you meet somebody you know everything is awesome right mm -hmm. everything they do is awesome but as you start being with somebody there might be some different things that really get underneath your skin per se right or you might not like or just you know it's just not your style or be taste super random too <laughs> and there's a lot of different examples we're going to go over here but you know these are this is one of the things that listen where communication is there you need to talk about things communication is key and maybe bring it up in a, in a nice manner okay with something like this so let's just break into it right and let's give an example here so 
if you're dating somebody, and let's say I'm dating, and I was dating Sharice, and, and I didn't like certain things. So oh let's say it's... Um, Pick an example you really didn't like. No, I know one for sure. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah I know what he's going to say. I know what he's going to say. Yep, Sharice smoked when I first met her. I definitely don't you, like the smoking. I nailed so it, didn't I? Didn't I told I her, I'm like, listen, that. the smoking's got to go. It. Like, don't come back to bed. You better brush your teeth. And, like, at this point, like, no more smoking. That was a big one for me. It um, was a big one. You know, my dad smoked two packs of Reds, uh, marbles uh, a day, I and I'd have to be stuck in the too. car. And before all that, with secondhand smoke and all that stuff, we were stuck in the car up north when it was really cold outside with the windows up or barely cracked. So uh, I definitely don't like smoke. That, that was a one big now thing. Now I'll live a longer life to continue to harass my husband. <laughs> <laughs> So that's one thing, right? And I talked to her about it right away because this is something that, listen, right away, like, it caused an issue as far as what I'm not used to and what I really didn't like or really didn't want in a partner because I'm living a healthy lifestyle here. I'm not smoking and I really didn't want it around me. Or if future, because you got to think down the line, do you, you know, if you're going to have a family and kids, do you want to surround them too as well? Mm -hmm. And this could be debilitating for kids too as well, asthma, all these different things around secondhand smoke. Mm -hmm. So just having it on your clothing can, can make a difference as far as when a baby child is on your chest, breathing those those uh, odors in. So that was one thing that, that just got me. So that's just my example, right? That was a good one. You know, it, it's a good one. But there's a, there could be a lot of different things out there. There could be, you know, for, for girls, guys leaving up the toilet seat. You know, oh, I, that is so It's annoying. a big one, right? And I, I've learned for myself, like, not to do this, and I, I always put it down. But yeah. um, I, I have seen a couple of girls fall in the toilet. <laughs> Without yeah. looking in the middle yeah, of the night, the middle, just go over there. Night. That's a great one, yeah. So that's funny, you know, getting a little butt wet and stuff like that, <laughs> oh yelling about it. <laughs> <laughs> not happen with uh, me, but definitely happened to a couple of my friends' house. Uh, yeah, seen this that happen. did not happen with him. Thank definitely goodness. Not, definitely I would have definitely had him in a chokehold for that. But that, you know, that, that's something, you know, I mean. My, one, one of mine was. Yeah, let's see. One. I want to yeah. hear it. So he probably already knows. In fact, this actually happened today. It's very funny. Um, not really. However, I hate, hate, uh -huh. hate chocolate. Oh, I that's hate right. chocolate. That's right. I don't. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like the, like the way it looks. I think it's disgusting. The smell of it is so repulsive. It literally makes me gag. Can like, you guys believe this? <laughs> Can you guys believe this? I'm like the only person on the planet that thinks this way too. It's so strange, right? So anyways, like when I met John, John loves chocolate, right? Chocolate. And like, you know, I was telling him like, hey, listen, like, I don't like chocolate. I like actually hate chocolate. And I use hate not that frequently. But if I really, really, really don't like something, I'm going to use that word. So, and I hate chocolate. So he would constantly in bed, like, you know, he'd be eating cookies and brownies and whatever, you know. And like, you know, sometimes he'd turn and look at me and like, we'd talk about something and I'm like, oh, it smells like chocolate. And I'm like, oh, because it's not that his breath smelled, it's because his breath smelled like chocolate and I literally wanted to puke. So I'd have to tell him like, hey, listen, I know, you know, I don't like chocolate. So like. I'm gonna have to like drink some water or something because I just hate the smell of chocolate. She does. And then today that happens, you know. What is it like? 15 years later, and he's <laughs> talking to me, and I'm. I'm eating a cookie, and she asked my advice. She I, comes over next to me. I try to show him an it's email. It's like, is that chocolate? No, that wasn't. <laughs> <'cause it's> like, <laughs> like literally making these faces. I'm like, oh my god, right now. I'm like, are you eating chocolate? And he's I'm like, ew. And then he's like, oh jeez. He goes over and drinks his water. He's like, let me see what you wanted me to see. <laughs> But, you know, it's just, that was just, you know, it's, it's an example of, it's like, true. you know, and it's, it's, you're telling them, like, something you may not like. It's true. And then you have to kind of express, like, how much you really not, like, you really don't like it, right. right? Right, Another good example that I was just talking to him about before the episode was um, maybe the way you dress. Mm -hmm. You know, that, I think that's a big one, because sometimes you'll meet somebody and you'll think, like, whatever you're dressing in is, like, super cute and it looks very sleek and sexy. And then he'll come out and be like, oh, I think you look great, but actually your dress is a little short, you know, or I don't know, your dress is a little see-through and, uh, you know. So for the guys out there, if you have an out, if the girl has an outfit on and it's, it's a little provocative for you and you don't like it, you have to speak up. 
because they're not going to know unless you tell them. That's going to be a, that's going to be a, a, I can see that going two ways when they do that. Yeah. The girls are like, you ain't telling me what to wear. I mean, some girls should respect it. They'll be like, all right, I appreciate it, honey. I didn't know this made you uncomfortable. You didn't like it. I'll go change. And then you're going to get the other half. They're going to be like, you're not going to tell me what to wear. Yeah, yeah I'm not changing. I'm, I'm aware of what I'm aware yeah, I wear this when you met me. You know, right, and some, some okay. of those past, and right? And then, 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 then you don't want to be upset when guys are you know, making comments about you when you're walking by, yeah. right? So go change your outfit. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree with that. You know, the other one is, um, the other one that I've seen out there with, uh, you know, and some of these things you got to attack right away. Like this is something you see like right in the beginning. Like there's something that sticks out. But then after a while, as the relationship starts to, you know, gather some ground, you guys start to get some, some things underneath your belt as far as experience, memories, and time. You know, then you guys are going to be looking for, you know, more common ground as far as, you know, what's the next step in our relationship or evolution. And that could be nothing. You guys could stay at the exact same pace you guys are at or you guys could be moving forward. And what I mean by that, that could be like moving in with each other or maybe engaged or, or something along those lines. And then when that happens, as you guys are starting to grow together, there could be things that stick out that, listen, you guys used to do back in the day and was all cool and fine and dandy. But as you mature and you start gathering ground and years of experience, then it's not so cool to do it anymore. Yeah, not so cool. So, prime example, right, oh, is, <laughs> is I, I see it all the time here. And, and, you know, my guys and girls both do this, I know, is, you know, they, they get in the relationship, they, you know, they're together for a long time, and then it's all like, you know what, I've been missing the club too much, i got to start going out. So, they, they start going out, and they want to stay out till 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, right? And at that point, the relationship's past that point, especially if you guys aren't together or the other partner doesn't You're want to do crazy. it. You know, as you start gathering years <laughs> underneath your belt, you guys are in, not to say you guys can't go out and enjoy this once in a while or you know, every so often. Trust me, I, 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 I tell you guys, definitely go do it. Blow off some stress, dance together, get, get some time together. If you guys have some alcoholic beverages, be responsible about it. Don't get crazy. But, you know, be smart about it. You know, and that's the other thing when we usually go out. You know, you're usually possibly drinking. Some people drink to, to a far extent where they can't think about what they did that night. And they have to get remembered by their partner. Like, listen, I told you, I don't like you doing that. You did this last night. And when you get like this, you know, you said things that I didn't like or you did things that I didn't like. And you don't even remember. You're like, man, like, I didn't remember. I'm so sorry. But then you go out the next week and you do it again. Do it again, yeah. You know, that's that's like you you don't care at that point. You're just doing it to do it. And you're doing it all over again. So this can be hurtful to your partner. And this is something you need to talk about too as well. Just because you talk about it though, guys, on the other end of the spectrum, guy or girl, you have to listen. Yeah. Like you can't just like hear what they're saying goes in one ear, yeah. come out the other. Let it actually process through your brain yeah. so that way you can, I mean, that's the only way you're going to get better. It. Apply That's it. the only way you're going to get better. Actions speak louder than words. I mean, listen, me and John been together forever. And Absolutely. if you think for one second, we have not come across every single one of these things that we talk about at some point. For sure. We have come across it. A hundred percent. But you mean at the halfway point, right? Yep. There's definitely a happy medium yep. for everybody. Yep. No matter who you are, or what the situation is, yep. always a happy medium. Yeah. So this is just a little great tips and info from us to you guys. Yeah, speak up. So guys, make sure you guys are tuning in every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC for our Cupid's Corner Live. If not, DVR it. And if you missed that too, just go to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, and you'll see all these great episodes and more. So I'm John. I'm sure you. And we'll see you back next Sunday at 11 a.m. for another Cupid's Corner. Yep, we'll see you then.